Think about uh, the different approaches that you've seen coaches take、mm-hmm. or how they present their work、mm-hmm. and try to figure out what model are they coming from.、Mm. Uh, a lot of them, of course, people that talk about the unconscious, they have to somehow be talking about Freud's work.、Mm-hmm. Yes.、Right? Or somehow、um, be related to that, that, that、uh, history of. The development of the idea of the unconscious in both psychology and, and coaching. So, when people talk about reprogramming their unconscious mind, they're speaking Freudian,、mm-hmm. uh, but how are they positioning it?、Mm-hmm. You know, how, are they really helping you? Because、um, if you're reprogramming and being spiritual, it's, and it's a spiritual system, those are actually not aligned with Freud. Or can they be? Well, that's the, the question is,、uh, have they thought enough? Are you enough, a young in or a Freudian? Yeah, have they thought enough about their, their methodology to, to make those distinctions?、Mm. You know, is, is it, are they borrowing ideas from different schools and different models and putting it together? Or is there a consistency in, in、mm. the way they're presenting their coaching models?、Mm. But we do hear in, in, in the coaching industry a lot of people talk about reprogramming the unconscious mind.、Mm. Right. Now, I mean, you, you know those schools better than I do. The, the whole Well, coach- hypnotherapy, a lot of it was about reprogramming and re, re, NLP and you're do, rewiring your brain or rewiring your unconscious. And- do they teach Freud? Do they teach Jung? Do they, are they kind of basing their work on, on those schools? Well, I went into one of the best schools in the country.、Um, they did do a, a basic in, inter, inter,、um, introduction to psychology and they talked about Freud and Jung and Co-、uh, Chocare. Cho-、um, Co-Chocare? No, what's his name? Charcot. Charcot. <laughs> and.、Um, uh, But、uh, they didn't really go deep into it, like even just what we're having this conversation about. But basically, it was reprogram, but then there's also the spiritual part, but it wasn't really integrated to.、Mm. It's like if you program your mind, this other spiritual part will come through. They didn't really teach us about the shadow or archetypes or really talking about here's the key. They didn't really talk about our personality. They talked about our belief system, which is more cognitive when we're going to talk about that.、Yeah. So, what I believe versus who I am. So,、uh, uh, like, not I am good enough, but those beliefs.、Yeah. And so, it's more beliefs and reprogramming those beliefs, but not really changing the personality and understanding the unconscious、uh, urges of the personality and all that. So, that's definitely not something that I learned. In hypnotherapy school. So, and I went to the, one of the best ones. Yeah, so I would say those are, those are eclectic models.、Mm-hmm. Now, it, The, the eclectic approach, there's nothing wrong with it, but, but essentially what they're doing is they're taking bits and pieces from different schools、mm. and putting them together and、mm. saying, This is how we're going to teach you, or this is what we're going to train you in.、Uh, so they took the technique of hypnosis, which goes back to Freud and even before him.、Um, they took the cognitive behavioral, the cognitive behavioral idea of. Reprogramming or, or looking at、feelings. your thoughts and、yeah. feelings so you can change behavior.、Um, and maybe. S- and then add spiritual. The spiritual part、yeah. was just another part、uh, of. Kind of another piece to, yeah, to just include in your、that. spiritual guide you can do an interaction with and past lives and things like that. Yes.、Yeah, so it's important to, for, for the public and for uh, uh, people that are looking for coaching, coach training to be aware of. of This, these approaches.、Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with the, the eclectic model, but just know that when people put these different pieces together into one、uh, training program,、uh, it might not have the efficacy, meaning the、mm-hmm. power to really transform and to really change a person because they are taking. Bits and pieces. Well, here's why. Do you want to know this? A simple reason why?、Mm. Because they're just working on symptoms. They're working on getting that person to attract something, get over pain. It's very like a, a band aid model. That's how I felt when I was doing the hypnotherapy. I had these great tools. I was, people were getting results, but it was very short lived.、Uh, where Young gives you a map of your evolution as a, as a personality and as a, a spiritual. 
uh, soul, you know, your soul's mission. And it, 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 it has like a, a kind of foundation and a philosophy that's built on those little techniques. So you can do technique, technique, technique. I'm going to help you do this. I'm going to get this, you know, make more money because I'm thinking more positive or I'm going to find my soulmate because I believe in myself now. I have a positive outlook on myself. I'm confident. Uh, there's nothing wrong with those things. But when you're doing something, do you want to just fix the external and get these little band-aids in your life? Or do you want to actually evolve and become um, your true spiritual self in the world? And, and that's a longer process. 